Although Russia was not the first nation to create nuclear weapons, it is currently regarded as having the world's most powerful nuclear deterrent. This isn't just because Russia possesses around 5,977 warheads, but also due to its intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, capable of piercing through even the most advanced defense systems. Among the various ICBMs and other types of weapons forming the arsenal that could bring about apocalyptic scenarios anywhere in the world, the RS-24 Yars emerges as a core pillar of Russia's strategic missile forces, a symbol of Russia's nuclear deterrence. Introduced into service in 2010, the RS-24 Yars, a solid-fuel two-stage ballistic missile, is an upgraded version of the Topol-M missile, a familiar sight to those who follow Russian military developments. The new ICBM from Moscow measures 20.9 meters in length, 2 meters in diameter, and weighs 49 tons at launch, with a maximum range of 11,000 kilometers. It bears little difference from its predecessor, the Topol-M, except for an optimized design for mobile launch platforms, facilitating easier transportation to launch sites. Representing the first step in Russia's strategic missile modernization plan, set to be completed by 2025, the RS-24 Yars boasts several advantages over the Topol-M. It can carry between four to six independently targetable nuclear warheads, each with a yield of 300 kilotons. This enables it to strike multiple targets simultaneously at speeds reaching 16,056 kilometers per hour. While slightly slower than the U.S. Minuteman 3 ICBM, it's still swift enough to challenge the world's top defense systems. Furthermore, the RS-24 Yars can adjust its altitude and trajectory mid-flight, making it extremely difficult for adversarial interceptors to stop, even after its trajectory has been detected. Thanks to these significant advantages, the RS-24 Yars is planned to be deployed to Russia's Kozelskaya Missile Division. And in the future, it is poised to become the backbone of Russia's fixed strategic nuclear forces. However, when it comes to ICBMs that truly leave Western powers unable to devise countermeasures, the Russian RS-28 Sarmat boasting destructive power reportedly capable of devastating vast coastal areas, stands as the most potent ICBM ever developed. Despite its first successful test launch occurring only on April 20th, 2022, from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome in the Arkhangelsk region, near the Finnish border, military experts have already labeled it a super weapon. This missile further widens the gap in nuclear deterrence between Russia and the Western world. The 208-ton missile is capable of carrying 10 to 15 independently targetable warheads, each weighing 10 tons, with a range of up to 18,000 kilometers, over 5,258 kilometers more than the Earth's diameter, enabling it to reach any target on Earth with remarkable accuracy boasting a margin of error of just 20 to 25 meters. Similar to other ICBMs, the Sarmat employs three propulsion stages for extended range. However, the Sarmat's most alarming feature lies in its potential for launch trajectories over the South Pole, bypassing the US, ES Northern Oriented Early Warning Systems. This allows it to strike any target worldwide beyond the reach of even the most advanced missile defense systems. Experts speculate that the Sarmat may incorporate elements of the Fractional Orbital Bombardment System, FOBS, developed by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. In this system, the warhead could orbit the Earth multiple times before re-entering the atmosphere for a high-speed strike, with a total explosive yield equivalent to 50 million tons of TNT, about 3,000 times more powerful 
than the little boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Even prior to the Sarmat's development, Russia's strategic nuclear deterrence was already powerful enough to pose an existential threat to any adversary. The R-36 Envoy of Oda missile, known as the SS-18 Satan by NATO, has been in service with the Soviet military for over 40 years and is still regarded as one of the most formidable weapons ever deployed. Developed by the Soviet Union in 1969, the R-36M Voyevoda is a colossal missile, measuring 34.3 meters in length and 3 meters in diameter. It carries a warhead weighing 8.8 .8 tons, with a launch weight of 211.1 tons, making it the heaviest ICBM ever built. However, its intimidating size alone wasn't enough to create a serious threat to the United States. The U.S. could easily track its trajectory and develop effective long-range defense systems capable of intercepting these massive Satan missiles. Even though the Soviet Union used deep underground silos to protect them from reconnaissance and preemptive strikes by the U.S. military. Thus, when developing the R-36M, Soviet engineers incorporated an extremely accurate inertial guidance system and equipped the launch silos with systems capable of keeping the missile in a combat-ready state for extended periods. This allowed the missiles to remain on constant alert. Additionally, to increase the missile's versatility against a variety of targets, the R-36M was produced in six different variants, each with different types of warheads. In its standard version, the R-36M carries a single heavy warhead with a yield of 20 to 25 megatons and a range of 11,200 kilometers. There's also a lighter 8 megaton warhead version with a range of 16,000 kilometers and a variant with 10 multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, each with a yield of 400 kilotons designed for widespread destruction. Other variants included a mixed warhead configuration with four 1 megaton warheads and six 400 kiloton warheads. The destructive power of the R-36M's single heavy warhead is 500 times that of the atomic bomb the U.S. dropped on Japan in 1945. Any of the missile's six variants could obliterate two entire U.S. states. The situation became even more concerning for the Americans when, in 1975, the Soviets introduced the R-36M2 variant. Though it still used the same two-stage liquid propellant system, a combination of N204 and UDMH, the R-36M2 featured improved silos, allowing the missiles to be buried deeper underground, enhancing their survivability in case of a preemptive U.S. strike. Moreover, the R-36M2 was equipped with a fully automated launch system, with critical missile parameters being encrypted and constantly monitored to ensure reliability during combat operations. This version of the ICBM also featured an advanced inertial guidance system for the initial flight phase, with mid-course adjustments made through a ballistic computer connected to ground command centers. These improvements minimize the margin of error to just 500 meters, remarkably small for any ICBM of that era. In September 2022, the U.S. conducted one of its latest ICBM tests involving the Minuteman III. This missile is expected to become the cornerstone of the U.S. S Next Generation Strategic Deterrence, maintaining its strategic advantage even in the face of a full-scale nuclear conflict. The Minuteman III, a three-stage solid-fuel missile, measures 18.3 meters in length and 1.67 meters in diameter, capable of reaching 9,700 kilometers when armed with a nuclear warhead. Despite weighing only 36 tons, the Minuteman III's three propulsion stages enable it to reach a speed of 24,000 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest ICBM in the world. Its speed allows it to evade even the most advanced missile defense systems, including Russia's S-400 and S-500. Additionally, the Minuteman III uses a multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MIRV, configuration with different guidance systems, 
enabling it to carry multiple nuclear warheads such as the W62 170 kiloton yield or the thermonuclear W78 and W87 warheads which have yields ranging from 170 to 500 kilotons. Its accuracy, with a margin of error between 85 and 450 meters, surpasses that of the Russian R-36M. According to some military sources, the U.S. currently has over 1,000 nuclear warheads, specifically for use with the Minuteman III, providing more than enough firepower for a rapid, overwhelming strike within the early days of a nuclear conflict. Though it may not possess the sheer destructive power of the Sarmat, the Minuteman III's overall capabilities make it a formidable weapon. In fact, it could have an advantage on the battlefield, as the U.S. can station these missiles in Allied territory surrounding Russia, allowing for comprehensive attacks even if Moscow strikes first. But this isn't the only asset in the U.S. arsenal. Alongside the Minuteman III, the U.S. also possesses the world's most powerful submarine-launched ballistic missile, the UGM-133A Trident IId-5. With a range of up to 12,000 kilometers and an accuracy margin of just 90 meters, the solid-fuel Trident IId-5 missile, launched from U.S. Navy nuclear submarines, provides the U.S. with unparalleled strategic flexibility. These submarines can be stationed in oceans around the world, enabling the U.S. to launch strikes from virtually anywhere. Since it is launched from submarines, the Trident 2D-5 is relatively light, weighing 59 tons and measuring 13.41 meters in length with a diameter of 1.85 meters. However, thanks to the advanced composite materials, graphite epoxy, used in its construction, the Trident D2-D5 is capable of carrying up to eight W88 nuclear warheads, each with a yield of 475 kilotons, or 12 W76 nuclear warheads, each with a yield of 100 kilotons. This missile has the power to completely annihilate any city. Moreover, the Trident D2-D5 is equipped with stealth technology, reducing its radar signature and making it nearly impossible to detect even though the fact that it is launched from submarines, leave your thoughts in the comments below. For now, goodbye and see you again.